Hey everyone, and welcome to Hemp Processing and Technology. Today, we'll be showing you how to transplant your hemp plants. As we've covered in the previous video about the benefits of transplanting, as well as what pot size you should be using, Transplanting hemp is a great way to both save space and provide a healthy root system. So today, we'll be showing you just how to transplant your plants into a larger pot. When it comes to solid pots, try to water the plant the day before transplanting to help the grow medium stick together a little bit so that the next day it's not too loose. Now turn the pot upside down and use the grow medium around the main stalk to support the entire plant. Never use the stalk to pull the plant out of the pot as this could seriously damage the plant. Instead, give the pot a couple of taps and if the plant is ready for transplant, everything should pop out in one solid block. This is because the plant is ready for transplant when the roots have already reached the edges of the pot, which not only help the entire root ball and grow medium sort of stick together, but also helps separate both from the solid walls of the pot. Here we have a good example of a plant that's ready for transplanting, with the roots reaching the edges of the pot and starting to expand out, but not so much that it's starting to circle around the bottom of the pot. I'm just going to gently loosen the roots a little bit so that it'll start to spread out when placed in a new pot. And for the larger pot, you can either place a layer of grow medium on the bottom before placing in the plant, and then filling the edges with more grow medium, or you can fill the entire pot with the grow medium first, and then digging out a hole that'll fit the transplanting plant. Now if you have a plant that's transplanted too late, you'll see that the roots have filled the entire bottom of the pot and are starting a circle around it like this one, which is known as being root bound. With a root bound plant, you'll need to loosen the circling roots thoroughly so that they'll stop circling around itself and instead expand outwards when transplanted. On the other end of the spectrum, if you have a plant that's having problems coming out of the solid pot and if and when it does come out, a lot of the grow medium is still left in the original pot, then that means the plant has not filled the original pot yet and should be placed back to grow longer before attempting to transplant it again. Now let's talk about fabric pots, which are a lot harder to transplant. Because of the way roots grow in fabric pots, where it can grow through the fabric, reaching the outside of the pot, and then drying out if exposed to the air, the entire outer edge of the root system in a fabric pot is usually intertwined with the pot itself. So it'll never just pop right out with a couple of taps. Instead, to remove the plant, you'll need to either peel the walls off of the pot or separate the edges of the pot where the grow medium and the pot meets with something sharp. Peeling the walls off the pot is the easier option. And this just requires slowly rolling the fabric pot downwards until it's completely inversed which works a lot easier if you place it on top of something similarly sized, like a bucket.
Also, because the root system is already evenly spread out, there's no need to touch or loosen the roots before placing it in a larger pot. However, some fabric pot sizes are too small to peel back, like this pot right here. And with something like this, you can either cut the pot to peel it off, destroying the fabric pot in the process, or separating the grow medium and roots away from the pot with something sharp, like so. I also don't recommend transplanting a plant from a fabric pot to a solid pot. Although I do recommend transplanting a plant from a solid pot to a fabric pot. And in general, I just really like the use of fabric pots as a plant's final container due to all the benefits fabric pots provide. Also remember when transplanting to the final container to keep it in the vegetative stage for at least another week or two before switching it to the flowering stage. And that's it. Like the content? Then be sure to check out our beginner's guide to creating CBD products from scratch. Available at Amazon in print and digital with links in the description below. You can also find us at hempinapot.com.